It Chapter 2 is the sequel to the first It, which was a big hit, which is why they're making a sequel, of course. The live-action film adaptation of the popular Stephen King novel, which I think was just one book, one really long book. And our protagonists, the kids, the Losers Club from the first movie, are all grown up and they've moved, you know, they've moved off to their separate ways to live their separate lives in this sequel. Except for one of them, Mike, who stayed in the town of Derry. And because he stayed in the town, he's there when he can see signs that Pennywise the Clown is back. They defeated him in the first It, but, you know, decades later, he's back again. And, you know, Mike sees this and he summons the other Losers to come back to the town of Derry and help him um, fight off Pennywise for you know, once and for all. You know, they're going to banish him for good this time, or do they? But that's the basic premise, you know. It's our heroes all grown up, facing off with Pennywise. And while It Chapter 2 is a good movie, I don't think it's as good or as impactful as the first It, its predecessor, because basically it's giving us a lot of what we've seen before until the end of the movie the end of it chapter two is very different from the first it and that's when we start to see some new stuff in terms of you know how they deal with the protagonists and the way the fight takes sh takes shape but for the most part it's more of the same and you know there's not really that much different and it's not as impactful and what i mean by that is part of the appeal and what made the first it so good is it was the first right we'd never seen well most of us had never seen this movie before, we didn't know what kind of horror movie it would be. We didn't know what kind of, you know, antagonist bad guy Pennywise would be. How well he'd be realized on film. What kind of scares he'd do. How he'd menace our, you know, our heroes. Um, we saw that in the first It. So when we see it again in the second It, it's kind of like it's nothing new or different. It's like, well, you know, the scares aren't a scare anymore because we've seen them before. Um... The menace of Pennywise isn't that big of a deal because we already know what Pennywise is like as a menace. Um, so it's kind of a lot of the same, except everybody's older. And it's cool, you know, part of what makes them as older protagonists cool is I think the movie, I think the id franchise is a bit more comfortable with the characters as adults in terms of because they're adults, they're played by mostly more famous actors. And so the movie like lingers a bit more on them and they get more time to shine because you know they're established actors i guess and it's a, almost more of a character study than it is a horror movie at times because part of the fascination is seeing you know who these losers club people have turned out to be in their adult age or old age for lack of a better phrase um and what's interesting is is because you know they are so they're adults played by established actors they take up, you know, more of the movie. And we don't even really see Pennywise himself that much. Um, not as much as we did in the first one. We see a lot of monsters and things that he creates to menace them. But we don't see much of him himself, which I found surprising. I guess they didn't want him to overshadow people. Like, they wanted to give, you know, stars like Jessica Chastain and James McAvoy, I guess, more time to shine. So they got a lot of screen, screen time, people like them. But Pennywise got less of it than he did in the first one. Until the end of the movie, you know, when they face off with them, all the protagonists, one last time. Um, then that's when the movie becomes something different because we never really saw them face off against Pennywise the way they do here. Um, and that's when, you know, I started to get more invested because I was like, oh, it's something new and something different. Um, but for the most part, while It Chapter 2 is a good movie, it's not quite as... It doesn't hit you as hard as the first one did because... It doesn't offer anything new, you know? It kind of doesn't take the story or the protagonists. The whole tone of the movie, it's not like this different, bigger and better thing. It's kind of more of the same. More of the good same, but because you've kind of been there, done that, it loses a bit of its impact. But I still think it's still worth seeing. Um, so if you're in the market if for something, for, you know, the latest big horror movie and you like that kind of thing, check out It Chapter 2 in theaters now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.